So when the rain season, we have to prove the water for his cow dung. Is what you say? Uh, the cow dung is for prove the water. So when the rain okay. season, we have to cover all the place for his cow dung. Okay. Yeah. And this house is special for one family. Maximum six people live in hut like this. And you know we are in polygamy system. So according to polygamy, if you have any number of wife, you must have houses according to the number of the women. I mean one one wife, one house. So our children live inside of our houses uh, according to father rotation. So when the father wants to live in hut like this, you can put a stick top of the house like this. So when the children of four years they saw they stick like this, they know today the father wants to sleep in this house. So they can sleep maybe the second house or third or fourth according to the number of the women. Uh, our lifestyle is nomadic. According to nomadic we move. And we depend with grass and water for feed our animals. So really we don't have any permanent place to live. So when we move from here, we leave a village. As well we leave the houses. Uh, wherever we go, if we can reach empty village, we can live. And if all villages are full, we start to make a new one. So we don't have some like territories. All villages belong to all Maasai. Okay. Uh, we spend our daily activity for groups and we have five big groups. The first group is the women. The women, they care everything inside of the house. Collect the fire, cook children, fetch water, as well women building houses. The second group is a group of the boys, those who are jumping, those are warriors. You know, really, we live with dangerous animals like lion, elephant, buffalo. So, really, we need security for protection and guarding. So, the warriors group is our security. Mm. Uh, the third group is age of 50, <coughs> 50 years for men and women. This group, 50 years after end of the life, this group is our parliament. They uh, decide everything we, <coughs> we do. And the fourth group is a group of young boys wearing black clothes and they have some white paint in the face. Are you saw them on the way? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. The age of them is 14 to 16. And those boys, they already circumcision. Mm -hmm. But they cannot live with any fire. <coughs> they have to live at the bush for three months. And there are jealousy people. We tell them for security for stay. So <coughs> they learn, uh, there they learn many things like uh, different fingerprint of animal how to protect and guard these people for any kind of dangers. <coughs> uh, uh, the last group is the age of uh, 12 to 5. That group is a group of young boys who scare our animals in the grass. About food, our food is meat, blood, meat. And all we get from domestic animals. I mean what we personalize is cattle, uh, goats, sheep, donkeys, cats, dogs as well. So the, the donkey they can help us to get our luggage when we move from one place to another. Dogs and cats for protection. So we did use anything from wild animal. We depend with cows, sheep and goats only. About clothes we have two color, we have red as well, we have a blue. At the red one this is a protection between wild animal and Maasai because always the wild animal they are fried already cut. Uh, and as well the red one, this is a Maasai communication. So when if you want to go far away, you must be wearing red clothes in order to give the people to see you in the long way. And the blue, you know, as we believe in God, but we have some special mountains like Orange Olegai, like uh, Makarot Mountain. As well, we have special trees which we use for sacrifice. So according to uh, our belief and we believe in God that's why we have it as well we have another favor color purple color that's used for women only so that color uh, the, the women who is new joining with this family she must be wearing uh, purple clothes for seven days in order people to know she's a new joining with the family uh, as well about medicine we use plants medicine and really our common disease is injury through dangerous animal. So for small injury we can treat ourselves. And if we have some big injury, we can send those people to hospital. Normally this is history about Maasai lifestyle. Before we go inside, I want to give you a card. If you have any question concerning Maasai culture, you can ask me.
I see a lot of the little children with yes. uh, the animals. So at what age do you start, I guess, training the children to take care of the animals? Five years. At five? Yeah. Nice. Um, oh, the ears. Right. Uh, you know, our origin, origin we from Egypt. Uh, from Egypt to here, we lose a lot of people. So some of the people sit in on they remain and say, how can we go to know all Maasai? Let us put this hall for no this Maasai. But right now, uh, uh, the halls used to be like a decoration. But long years ago, mm -hmm. this is a mark of Maasai. Okay. Yep. Okay. I think that's it for now. Questions? No question? No, I think that's it. <laughs> interesting? Very interesting. Really? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. So, we can go now to see inside. Our house is too short. Mind your head. <laughs> <laughs>